everyone welcome to vishwa bloom so in this video we will be looking at logarithms aim to explanation which is going to be slightly brief so this mass techno is for class 8 so let's proceed further and i'll just give a brief introduction about the logarithms so this chapter that is aim 2 of logarithms is fully based on the you know loss of logarithms okay so all the laws you're going to learn here so there are few laws i will ex i'll try to explain most of them according to the time because i have to discuss the challenger also if uh, i have I will, if i will explain it deeply then challenger video will be made separately okay so let's see how time uh, you know how it get adjusted now here first before starting the loss of logarithms we have some points here so first we will discuss that then we will go to the loss of logarithms first if m is not equal to 1 and n is also not equal to 1 so when two numbers when they are not equal to 1 and let them be co primes okay then log m to the base n is going to be an irrational number now i'll explain this by giving some example okay so don't need to worry for that sorry yeah first now if i take two co, co, uh, co sorry co primes first m let it be 5 and n i am going to take a nearest co prime that is 7 now these two are co primes am i correct so now if i have log 5 to the base 7 what it is going to be there is no need to solve simply we can say it is an irrational number understood so remember the first rule now we will see the second one which is also very very similar to this now similarly now if i take a number that is m is not equal to 1 and n is also not equal to number if i take these two numbers and they are co primes suppose they are not co primes this is the second rule okay second okay if they are not group group co primes so what it is going to be this log m to the base n it need not be a rational that means it can either be an irrational or an rational number understood so now let's take two examples because there are two cases right case one is that it is an irrational case one and this uh, rational we can say it as case two am i correct so let's see first case one okay now sorry one sec huh. so case one what it is here m and m and n are co primes and they are not equal to one remember this okay and log m to the base n is rational or irrational now we will see example first one that is the case one right which we are going to see okay case one now first let's take uh, these two numbers that is log 6 to the base 3 now how do we solve this actually for solving this we need to know the loss okay so this is going to be irrational we know this right because if both are even though both are not co primes it is going to be an irrational now if i tell about that i have to start the loss of logarithms right so in when starting the log loss of logarithms use the particular law and tell me which law you have used in order to solve this okay you will comment me this okay next looking at the case 2 it is log 125 to the base 5 now obviously log 125 is 5 cube and denominator we have 5 now this power will be sent in front so 3 log 5 to the base 5 so this entire thing will become 1 so what is the answer it is 3 which is an rational number correct so this is the starting point let's move to the loss of logarithms now loss of logarithms so let's start the first law so first law is log m into n to the base a is equal to log m to the base e plus log 
n to the base so now what here act we are doing actually we are just doing the product of the logarithm form right now here m and n are getting multiplied now with the same base in the sense that that is only one logarithm so it is having a base a now if you wanted to simplify it so how could you do that just you will first write log a and the first term and added by this log n to the base a so both will be added with the same base understood this m and n individually with the logs and bases will be added individually now if i take an example uh, log 15 no, no let me take the example which i haven't solved log 6 to the base 3 now the case right case 1 okay so now how can we solve this is log so 6 here he has given the directly right so m into n it is not there so how could we solve you will be thinking now just think of the uh, factors of 6 1 1 into 6 2 into 3 now you can use the second one 2 into 3 because here the base is also 3 so which will be easily simplified okay so let us write it as log 2 into 3 to the base 3 now this can be written as log this is imagine this to be m and n okay now first log m that is log 2 to the base 3 plus log what is n it is 3 to the base a a is also 3 now this is simply 1 we all know this am i correct now this one it's an irrational one right because these two are co-primes we all know that so obviously it's going to be an irrational number okay so no need to solve completely i've just shown actually if i show till here it's more than enough you can understand for that okay so no need to use that but while simplifying you should use but as of now i'm not going so deep okay now second law we will discuss so here what it is here before it was product now it is the coefficient or else division now division of two numbers like this it is correct now what we are supposed to do just subtract the numerator minus the denominator whatever it is there with the same log and base now same we will do with the example correct so how we will do is let's take an example log 7 by 12 to the base 2 now imagine this to be n that 7 and 12 to be n correct so now what you're supposed to do according to this i'll tell you so first log what is m that is 7 and a base is 2 minus log n what is n it is 12 and the base is 2 just put it like that and further simplification can be done and see here it is not possible right so just leave it and i have just shown the example now log uh, this first law and second law i'll tell you something about these the first law is here right you can see now the converse of this law is also true now what is converse you'll be thinking right i'll tell you wait a second so converse is nothing but if this is the condition suppose a number is in this form then it can be simply written as log mn to the base a when it is simple when it is easy for us to simplify am i correct so i'll write the converse also so that you'll understand better now converse statement is something like this log m to the base a plus log n to the base a is equal to log mn to the base a this is just the converse of the statement okay now similar converse you can write for law 2 also okay now let me write and show the converse for this okay so first the converse of law 2 that is nothing but log m to the base a minus log n to the base a is equal to log m by n to the base a clear so now how many laws will be formed here if one law i'm discussing it will have two laws in it okay the other law is also the converse and i will tell you which is having the converse statement also okay most of them are having so let's see this is also having a converse statement so when you are remembering one statement in that there will be two statements okay remember this is the first law and one more thing is therefore first law i will tell you that also 
if there are three numbers here in multiplication if there are three numbers m and p to the same base a then it can be written as log m to the base a plus log n to the base a plus log p to the base a. so remember this also just you can un understand it okay but this kind of law is not there for uh, for the second law okay because it is division you can't do it now i hope you are very much clear with first law and second law and also with their converses and this extra law also okay now let's move on to the third law okay the third law is log m to the power n is equal to a sorry log m to the power n to the base a is equal to n log m to the base a okay so now here we have power right whatever power is there to the number that is a logarithm number that number has to come in front of log okay that's it just remember this and that is the log now let me show you one example log suppose he will give you suppose you are stuck in this log 25 to the base 3 and you don't know how to simplify so you will use this log how do you use, do you use log now 25 can be written as 5 square to the base 3 correct so now this 2 you will send it to lhs sorry not lhs to the front part of log that is 2 log 5 to the base 3 now is it, it is easy right you can solve it not in this case but particularly not in this case but essentially you can solve in other cases right so this is one of the law now we will see one more law that is the fourth law of logarithms log m to the base a power n is equal to 1 by n log m to the base a now this one just remember something this base power will be there now whatever the, uh, is the power of the base just put that power in front in the reverse re what you tell reciprocal the power of base whatever it is there base is power what you will do you will put it in front of the lock in reciprocal way understood one by that whatever it is okay so if i have an example let me take mm, yeah log 25 to the base 3 so let it be okay is equal to now 25 can be written as 5 square just now i have shown you that now this square will come in front in reciprocal form 1 by okay so 1 by 2 log 3 to the base 5 understood so this is the way now combining these two laws that is combining third law and fourth law we have one more law that is the fifth law i will tell you that also log b to the power m base a to the power n is equal to m by n log b to the base a now see this is just the com combination of the third and fourth laws the first i will tell you what we did in the third law here whatever is in logarithms power we just put it in front okay same thing here the basis power is top and in the fourth law what we have done the basis power we are putting in the reciprocal form one by so just put we have put it down understood so this is just the uh, mix of law three and four understood now this is also clear i am hoping that so the next law is log a to the base b is equal to 1 by log b to the base a so when you wanted to uh, interchange these two you have to put the 1 by that is the reciprocal so when log is reciprocal the base and the number will exchange their places suppose if i have log 3 to the base 2 it is nothing but just the 1 by log 2 to the base 3 understood So next law is a to the power log x to the base a is equal to x so these both are equal they are telling so whenever you have such a situation the number is the answer now i'll explain you you may not believe this right because even when i learned i did not believe it so what we'll think is let this all be m okay just let me write it 
let log x to the base a be m. Okay, so in simpler words, how can you write this? That means log x to the base a is equal to m. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to write it in the exponential form for this one. Understood? So x is equal to a power n. Now remember this statement, very important. Okay, and this statement. Now in this, uh, whatever it is there, the question, let's just uh, see this. Now, a to the power log x to the base a is equal to x. First, what I'm going to do, this log a, log x to the base a, I have considered it to be m. So I'm going to write it as a power m. That is okay for you, right? Then is equal to, now x, whatever it is there, I am going to write it as a power m. That is also we know this. Both are equal, right? Obviously. So that is why when there is something like this, that means a power log x to the base a, that means these both need to be the same. Remember, okay? The base and this, uh, ex base of the logarithm and base of the exponent must be the same, these two. And these two must be the, then will be the same. Okay. So, let me make it clear for you. Yes. So, a power m is equal to a power m. So, that is why it is true. Okay. I hope you understood this. This is the proof. If you want, you can note it. Okay. So, I think it's better. Uh, we'll start the challenges in the next video. So, thanks for watching our video. Please do support to our channel by liking, sharing and subscribing to Wish for blooms and don't forget to click the bell icon. Bye bye. See you in the next video.